got my cousin here. Yeah, he's hardly awake. I actually called him like five minutes before I was there. Are you up? Uh, I am in a minute. You guys are really going nuts with the fingerboard giveaway. The video had only been up for like what now? Not even 12 hours. <laughs> Look at the dog digging. But the video had been up for like 12 hours. And I already got more than 1,000 comments and about 170 views. So that is just incredible and insane. Some of you guys out there definitely want the fingerboard. <laughs> That's what I wanted. I want all these comments. I want all of you guys to come petite about it. And um, I'm still telling you that it's not guaranteed because you put a lot down that you will be winning. I mean, it, it's a random generator who's going to take out uh, the winner for me. So I can't cheat or anything. So it might as well just be one person because I'm just going to leave one comment. And it could be him winning or her. Uh, we don't know. Matthias is just quite busy with... Um his Emacs and figuring out what's wrong with it and what's not wrong with it and what needs to be changed and what don't need to be changed and then he wants to go and ride it. It's gonna be awesome and epic. I have started a project. I'm working on jersey barriers. Um, this is like for a mold so I can use the concrete I bought. Uh, I bought this concrete there. It's like, should be some very good stuff and get a nice blank surface when it's done. I couldn't decide which shape I'll go for this one or that one, uh, but I think I'll make one of each. Um, so I can try them out, but this is the one I'm going to concentrate on first. I think this is the one looks the best, got um, a good height. It seems a little bit high, but jersey barriers are high. Um, but this here is like the same length of my deck. So I need to use that one instead. I'll have to make two of these and uh, I'll have to find a way of covering the sides completely like this. So I make a mold stand upside down and I can pour my concrete into it. What? What up guys? So yeah, I'm starting my jersey barrier. This is um, going to be the end pieces and these going to sit here on this angle to make the mold for this stuff. Um, this is not, this is just going to be a mold for um, my jersey barrier. So, and it's all hand cut and all things. So it's, it's not going to be completely even, I think, but I'm doing the best I can. They are quite, quite the same size. So I think that it should be working out quite well, but uh, we'll have to see. Be interesting. Mithy is just cleaning his car because uh, he had a little accident. But still, this is more complete than Michael's. Michael's well, car. ours took a lot more beating than yours. We got the computer over here because he can uh, set up the ESC using uh, a computer, a little program, which is ever so cool. Right, I'm busy. I need to get going with this uh, mold. What do you think so far? This is going to be uh, the jersey barrier which I'm gluing at the moment. And this is where I'm going to fill concrete in. These here, I got those here. This is going to be suited here and fitted nicely. And then I'm going to make sure there's not going to be any gap. And uh, then I'm done. When that's completely finished, then I will um, leave that completely dry and make sure it's all hardened. And then uh, I can put core concrete in it tomorrow. I'm looking really forward to try it out. The length is about 30 centimeters. Um, I think it's a good length. Sometimes when you get these, obstacles. I mean, I've seen some of them make uh, a jersey barrier, which is like so short. It really is almost ridiculously short. It's like this. So it's like you can hardly do a trick up there and do a grind. So I made a long one so you have some uh, some surface to grind on and stuff like that. I'm really interested to get it finished. Um, so far the mold has been going well. It is not tightened in here. It's just standing loosely. Uh, the weight itself will push itself together. And you can see I got wood glue in there. Can you see that? Yeah, and uh, that should be drying nicely. So far, it looks quite even when I look. You look at that one there, so look at the silly monkey in the background. <laughs> um, but it looks quite even, so... But anyway, that's not a problem. I can sand that and put skate stops underneath. Uh, the new mold we did yesterday, I didn't show you that one. Um, this is the one here. And, uh, yeah, it came out quite... Actually, very good. And, um... You see, it's a snug fit. Uh, it got those markings of the holes down there, plus it got the markings on the top. I'm leaving them there because that helps me to tell where the holes goes. And I know these holes which is already there fit perfectly. The reason why I made this line there and down here and the other end as well is when I put it up in my mold because the wood is going to separate it so it can slide around. So now I can just, when I put it in, okay, make sure it's there and just tighten in the whole thing. But make sure that is and that is and that is completely aligned. So that will tell me that the deck is sitting perfectly. What are you doing, cousin? Searching parts. Oh, he's searching parts here for tractors. He uh, is going to upgrade some stuff on this one, the truck here. Uh, right now it's quite stuck. All the stuff is um, 
from uh, straight out of the box really I think there hasn't been many upgrades uh, on actual parts I mean like uh, shocks and all that you want to get some stronger shocks um, you want to get some when they start to break you want to get the RPM ones as well don't yeah. you New bumper. Oh yeah, new uh, bumper. The bum bumper down there is broken, and you want to get a proper wheelie bar as well. Yeah, and the seal, uh, the whole seal oh, yeah. for the receiver box. You see the receiver in there, guys. Um, normally, there's like a cover sitting on that. That's missing as well. And then we we'll probably have to take some more apart next time uh, to see how all the gears are doing. Yeah. Because the bar. The, 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 <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? The receiver box. The receiver only the box. <laughs> That's 82, that's not too bad. For the whole box with seating and everything. But have you checked eBay? I think eBay sometimes yeah, got better offers. Hey guys, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> I farted, I farted in your face, I farted. Now I have stuck with the sun. Uh, with... Why are you talking like this today? You normally used to be okay. <laughs> normally... I'm stuck with the smell from it. Now you're stuck with the stench of it. Not the smell. smell. The stench. A stench is worse than smell. A smell can be good. A stench can be just mainly bad. And the next step on um, the mold. I'll just put the sides on here, which is going to be the button parts. And they're gluing right now. It's going to be quite nice. I need to sand a little bit in here, but that's okay. Just to get the sharp edges away. But uh, you can start to see the barrier coming on. And the last thing I need to do when I come back is just to put a piece of, very thin piece of wood along here. Just to make that edge. And uh, then cover the bottom up. And uh, when that's completely dry, well, I got a mold. I don't think actually I'm going to put anything up here. I'm just going to make this go as far out as I can and just make sure the level height is about where these are. So I can just put some on top and uh, what I put on top from too much, I can sand off. What was the song you're singing? We got it tonight! Tonight! Someone has put that song in my brain. Yeah, I. I this he was. He thought that the end title on my vlogs, um, you know, the little bit of music. He thought that was actually something from uh, Rebecca Black from um, Friday, Friday, getting down Friday, but it wasn't. Um, I had to tell him that it was Hot Shell Ray, and um, he didn't know what that was, so I played it for him, and now he can't get the bloody song out of his head. All last, as good as possible. <laughs> there we go, we have more of it. But what do you think guys? You think that uh, my jersey barrier mold starts to look properly? Um, it took a longer time to build than I thought it would, but um, it's okay. I believe that if you take good time on building something, it will come out a better product in the end. And um, I'm excited to see this one here. If you're going to do something with fingerboards, this is the glue I use. You probably can't get it where you are. Um, I'm not too sure. Maybe. I think this is Swedish, Danish, Norwegian and maybe Finland what, uh, glue. But make sure you get wood glue and make sure it's for outside. So it can res resist uh, damp and water. Um, because when you use your fingers on the finger, well, sometimes you can get like wet fingers. Um, maybe if it's summer and warm you sweat a little bit in your fingers. Um, I'm sure it just gives a little bit more protection. So that's important. There we go guys. I have... Um Done the top, so now you can actually see it's starting to have the shape as a jersey barrier. Um, bear in mind guys, some of you, if this is not a finished thing, this is just a mold for um, what I'm going to be making. The jersey bar will be inside this, I'm going to fill this thing up, this is like a mold for concrete stuff. And uh, it's going to go to about there, it's, that's where the mold is going to go to. So it's not going to be that high, uh, but it's going to be quite good. Uh, I just put wood glue all the way around the edges and all that to fix any leaks or holes and stuff like that so it won't be too messy tomorrow when I'm gonna put my first homemade concrete into my first homemade concrete barrier mold but I will now make um, a deck already got the wood out for it so, uh, some decks, uh, I want to try and make a deck out of my new mold I'm really interested to see how that's gonna turn out I hope it's gonna be really good so yeah, excited alright guys um, let me just get this all set up, ready in the mold, and uh, I'll talk to you after. There we go. The new mold is trying out its first deck. And it looks all aligned nicely. I'm really excited to see the outcome of this. This is a complete new mold. Um, I just hope it's going to be a nice deck. Also, this thing here should be um, ready to be concreted tomorrow. It should dry through the night, and... Uh, 
I don't have to do much more to it, uh, really. So I'm really excited that um, I probably might tomorrow have a Jersey Barrier homemade. Oh my god, guys, you are really surprising me. I had almost 2,000 comments on my video in less than 24 hours. You guys are amazing. I can't believe that so many of you guys really have put in all the comments like that. <laughs> it is just really, really amazing. I'm just jaw dropping. Ugh. I'm really looking forward to get um, the giveaway going. Um, don't forget you still got to Sunday. There's quite a few days. Uh, so I wonder how many there will be. I think I will one of the next days make a video where you can see how I'm going to choose the winner. Just to make sure that you all know I'm not cheating and uh, I will give a demonstration with some uh, results from an older giveaway or some, another video with tons of comments so you guys can see how it's done. It's completely random who's going to win it. It could be the one who put like thousand comments down, it could be the one who just like, oh, I'm just gonna put one down. <laughs> it could be that lucky person, I don't know. I mean, um, that's the whole game of it. Uh, I'm not deciding which it is. Random.org is choosing for me. If you don't win this time, don't worry. There's giveaways each month or through 2012, and they all will be with a four corner deck. Um, complete. I need to uh, go to bed now because it's been a busy day. I put up the TV in uh, the bedroom and it's not only putting TV, I had to go in, you can see the door behind me. I had to go in there, crawl all the way down along the whole house to the end, pull cables through the walls, drag them all the way down back here again because uh, I like to have the screen hanging on the wall but no cables hanging down. And we managed to do that. It looks so good in there now. Um, so I'm really pleased with that. Yeah. Alright guys, um, I'll better get off to bed now and have some sleep, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Take good care, I love you all, and thank you for watching the videos. And also, don't forget, uh, if you want to be in the Finger World competition, there's going to be a link right here for the video. So you can go click that one there, and it'll take you straight to the video, and it'll open a new window, that's not a problem. And make sure that you are subscribed, thumbs up the videos, and uh, share the video and uh, put down tons of comments so you might be the lucky one. The more comments the bigger your chances are of winning um, or at least you get more odds of winning um, so that would be cool. Alright guys, take good care, see you all, bye!